Welcome to the largest recurrent gathering of the European civil protection community. I think we all recognize that we live in a turbulent world with escalating disaster dimensions. We need to make sure that in times of emergency, no country is left alone. This is how we define European solidarity in practice. This picture proves that it's possible to build safe houses so that fewer buildings are destroyed, fewer communities are torn apart, and most importantly, fewer lives are lost. You can have some highlights shown here. They deal with uh, our activities in prevention, preparedness, and communication also during the emergencies. And the feedback from Anyone who's visiting our stand is very positive, so that's very rewarding for our job, yeah. of course. We are displaying uh, one important project. It's about how new technology can be used in the service of our member states, in particular, a very high innovative technology. This is actually virtual reality, which means 360 degree, so you can look up, down, right, left. This is a traveling exhibition that will go across six European cities uh, as of next month. I think it's a good idea to have such a, a, a big audience and to have such an information market. Exhibition that is taking place here presents different solutions and good practices in the area of disaster risk communication and awareness. My phone uh, blew up, it went crazy. Literally everybody that uh, I know was trying to call me, was trying to phone me and trying to text me. I even got a lost call from my ex-girlfriend, which was really weird for me because, <laughs> but yeah. I really appreciate the um, contribution of the speakers. Uh, it was very interesting to listen to Mr. Stylianidis and Monique Perriot and their diamond uh, presentations about their current situation and about the future of EU civil protection mechanism. The whole thing about having 700 people from all over Europe and partner nations in the room together, I think that's, uh, that's a very strong message. It's stimulating to come to Brussels and to feel European.